we have a student with a 10 AP, got five on all of them, scored 1,500 out of 16. Right now, we have a student with a 10 AP, got five on all of them, scored 1,580 out of 1,600 on the SAT, has a 4.0 perfect GPA. It's a president of the school's student council, did many extracurriculars, and has won multiple international awards. If I raise his hand, how many people think he would get into an Ivy League university? Unfortunately, he was rejected by all of them. He was among many of the overachieving students who sacrificed and socialized but still got rejected by those top universities. Right now in our society, this has become a phenomenon that even if we have achieved everything we could, it is still extremely hard to get the outcome we desire. So what can we do? What's the solution? After looking back on my own experiences, I got an answer. We tried to achieve more and we did our way into success. Jun is a Chinese slang term. It is when you're involved in a voluntary competition to gain an advantage in something, for example, academics. It is over comparison or the inflation of effort. The more you work, the more others will work, resulting in you working harder. And the cycle continues. It is essentially what we call a rat race. And interestingly, when we use the term rat race in a sentence, we often say escaping the rat race. This is a human nature. We want to escape toxic environments. And just like the rat race, Jen creates a toxic atmosphere that is present in our daily lives. This year, I'm a grade 10 student in a pre 12 math class. I thought I would be just fine when I studied until midnight for countless nights. But I was shocked when I got a 63% on my first unit test when everyone else around me were at a 75. I knew the sole reason for my parents' immigration was to give me a better education. So I can't let them down. But it's made me realize that everyone has a limit for everything, including studying. And back then, I was at a stage where I was stuck. I studied more than what my body was capable of, so it was slowly breaking down. Of course, overworking my body did not help with my mind. When I was at the hospital, the second time due to sleep deprivation, my doctor told me something that I'll never forget. He said, your life is a scale between academics and social life. That day, something sparked in my head and was calling for change. So I changed my mindset. I took more time to rest and connect with my friends and I spend less time worrying about whether I scored perfectly on the test. Slowly, I realized that the pressure I got from school subsided. I realized that life is a climb. Of course, academics matter. It is important for us to get to the top of the mountain. Yet it is just as important to enjoy the views along the way. By only focusing on my academics, I lost the simple enjoyments in life. I lost the opportunity to exchange meaningful conversations with my parents. I lost the ability to freely shop with my friends. And I spent less time outdoors with my family, relishing the magnificence of nature. And those were the things I really loved before I threw myself into the endless cycles of things. Having an imbalanced lifestyle can also bring along other negative effects. First of all, 
sleeping late and not getting enough sleep damages your brain function, weakens your immune system, increases the risk of heart disease, and increases your chance of gaining weight. It's not helpful when you're on a diet. It can also cause issues regarding memory, concentration, and problem solving skills. So it's not hard to see that Jen actually lowers our work performance instead of boosting it. Then we will need to work harder, which means we will be more occupied with schoolwork. And thus starts an endless cycle. Our lives is a scale between academics and social lives. As students, we often dread about our academics. However, it is simply unrealistic to expect yourself to juggle between 10 different activities, to go about all of them while keeping a healthy lifestyle. You need to sharpen your focus and do the things you're truly passionate about while keeping your work life skills balanced. If you know you have done the best on an assignment or a test, don't worry anymore because you can't change your mind. So let it be what it is. Now it's the time to relax and have fun. Therefore, less stress and pressure will build on your back. Then your mental and overall health will naturally fall into the right place and you will regain your ability to feel simple. Then your mental and overall health will naturally fall into the right place and you will regain the ability to feel simple with life. By changing yourself, you inspire others around you. And if everyone changes their mindset, we can ultimately reduce this highly toxic and competitive atmosphere. Thus, we can undo the chain of effect that has brought to us and compare ourselves less often. If you know you have done your best within your limits, there is no reason to compare because you are awesome with you.